This ought to be an adventure. hear me all right you can okay cool hi just a quick video if you're familiar with durians generally there is the typical commercial durians that you can get in the market right now because it's durian season you have a typical musa king d24s and whatnot but today through a friend of mine which i'll introduce in a bit we may have the opportunity to taste wild durians We're really curious on how it tastes it may be much more gamier and i'm really curious to find out so yeah durians Hey guys, I'm Gideon from Ipatani. So today we're at a super secret location for a super cool and unique rare fruit. Now, take a guess what it's gonna be. Okay. They already know. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, new yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a quick heads up, Gideon is actually a, a friend of mine from high school, but we, we recently caught up from, from farming and restaurant related uh, processes as well. The wild durians in question, they're noticeably much smaller than conventional commercial durians. But one of the things that the owner was not uh, owner, the bio, buyer, uh, the middleman, the, the guy, the, 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 the seller, the seller, the, the guy right. in the jacket was telling us that uh. it's really small and they only pick it up when it's right from the tree, which yeah. means it's not cut and, and pre-processed that way. Right, right off the bat, right, when he brought up the whole durians out, one thing you will know quite straight up is the smell is much more pungent. And yep. I would think as a chef, it's a bit more fruity as well. Of, uh, different durians, right? You guys will notice really quickly that these are actually two different species. They grow in the same area even though they look completely different. Alright, as you can see, this one kind of has a rambutani feel. It's completely orbicular, round-ish. But the thorns are a little bit curved. But this one here, it looks a little bit more like your typical durian. Just that the size gives it away. It is a wild jungle durian. The interesting thing about these two durians is although they're different, they actually have to ripen and fall on the ground first before you can um, eat them because they will then give out what the seller says fermented alcoholic flavor which we will try very soon and if you pluck them off from the tree you simply won't get that unique taste so we're just gonna dive into it really quickly Oh. Mm. Yeah. 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 This is a bit more oh. fruity for me. The previous one was like what he said, more chocolate. The, the flavor in question is much more deeper and more robust compared to a typical Musa King or typical D24, which is strangely nice. The only downside to this, I think, is just the amount of flesh mm. because it's not commercialized in that sense. It's just lesser. Yeah, which lesser. I wish I was more, but, uh, but, uh, but that's a good thing. The moment when I put this into my mouth, right, immediately I could notice it's very different, very different than uh, normal durians. The taste, I have to say it's it's like a mixture between caramel and turkish delight it has a very strange candy flavor although of course flies. of course the texture is very soft almost custard like it's almost as if you're eating a very small spoon of custard mm. so very quick summary the durians in question the wild durians they are impeccably much more stronger in flavor but unfortunately they're less in meat and flesh so kind of a balance between would you rather have commercial durian that has less flavor but packed with meat and flesh? Or would you rather have a smaller durian that has much lesser flesh but is impeccably stronger in flavor? Like this one in particular, it's very similar to a jackfruit. The one, the smaller one that we had earlier on had a bit more of an alcoholic whiskey kind of flavor. But yeah, which would you rather have?
a very quick post-mortem Gideon how was the durian for you uh, it was awesome it was actually better than I expected People say that it has some kind of bitter taste and all that and I did not find any But there was, there was no bitterness at all I think the only thing that I was a bit disappointed was I wish there was more flesh oh, And yeah. I wish to see there was more red or, mm. or different varieties But we only got the yellow moving towards orangey But yeah. I think the biggest highlight was in terms of the flavour point of view It's really like condensed, you know like condensed milk you, Compared to evaporated oh, yeah. milk, you know it's so get it feels like that when it comes to the flavour, it's really deep, it's really strong Very intense, all the flavours of your typical durians But you boil it and you distill it to a point where you get just a little cream of the crop The day we can cultivate wild durians for the thickness to be like Musang King That will be the day Oh wow, yeah a thick flesh wild durian So anyways, short vlog, just wanted to just do a quick video Special thanks to Gideon again from Ipatani to hook me up If you want certain Most special welcome, vegetables from local farms here in Malaysia, head up to Ipatani they have a stall in um, Tamantun. Tamantun, yeah. And if they want to buy it online, they also have a link as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll put a link in the, in the description below. And if you want to support them, check them out. I think what they're doing is pretty great. And yeah, till next time. Bye. <laughs> 差不多要酒驾了<笑>